hi you guys welcome back okay so it's that time again that time where your girl just kind of shares with you my latest beauty purchases the things that i've been picking up and i think it's been about a month or so and quite honestly i look at the items that i've purchased and i'm like but I am on a low buy though. <laughs> I am on a low buy. So I think the term low buy is kind of relative to who's on the low buy. Because for me, I'm definitely on a low buy. But for someone else, this might not necessarily be a small haul. So anyway, just to put that out there, this is a small haul for me. So I'm going to go ahead and get started so I can show you guys what I got. Let me know if you guys got any of these items as well and your thoughts about them in the comment section because I do read through my comments. I'm curious a lot of times to know what you guys think. So let's just start out with a few palettes. Now these palettes, you guys, these palettes right here are from a company or a brand called ZC trying not to get too much glare but they're from a brand called ZC and they did collab with the British Museum so these palettes actually I believe came directly from China and they have like Chinese writing on the back and stuff so I can't read it but I saw these palettes scrolling up and down on Instagram for a long time I've actually had these for about a month now I think I probably got these right after my last haul but the packaging on these palettes was so gorgeous that I just had to have them. I mean, honestly, I don't even know if I'll ever use them because I bought them because the packaging is gorgeous. But the theme on these three is from Alice in Wonderland. So it's like they have like this really pretty glitter inside of here that moves around. I'm going to try and see if I can show you without too much glare. Glare. Do you see that that glitter moving around in the packaging? See how gorgeous that is? So yeah, this is the first one. So they are numbered. This one is 01. Just absolutely gorgeous. They do come with a little double-ended brush. And it has ZC on the brush. If you can see that there, ZC. So it's a cute little brush. I would definitely use this for eyeshadow. But this is what the first one looks like. So you can kind of see how they have the pretty patterns in there, the little imprints, just a really gorgeous design. So I don't know if I will ever use this palette just because I wouldn't want to destroy the patterns and designs in here. And I did really buy it for the packaging. <laughs> so... Yeah, this one is 01. Let me show you 02 because they all have like that gorgeous glitter moving around inside of them. You can see that there. Very pretty. And so this one has like the blue theme. Also comes with a brush. But this is what this one looks like. Super duper pretty. And then this last one here is 03, and I really, really like this one. It's super pretty in pink, and that is what she looks like. Like I said, they're all the Alice in Wonderland theme with a brush, and this one is super duper light pink. But do you see that? Look at that. That is gorgeous. So, so pretty. So yeah, I did grab these. I ordered them, expecting them to take quite a while, knowing that, you know, it was a brand I wasn't familiar with and that they were going to be, you know, coming from China. But it only took a couple of weeks for me to get these. I was really surprised and happy about that. Now, after I saw those palettes, I did see these palettes as well. I've actually seen people doing videos and reviews, or a few at least, not a lot, but a few on these palettes from ZC, as you can see, their packaging is crazy. Also a collab with the British Museum. And just, you know, if you could see that. <laughs> and this part here, this design is raised. So you can actually feel that when you rub your finger across it. Just gorgeous. Now these two, I don't know the name for. 
you can see on the back what it says there but yeah i don't know the name for these two but these i actually was able to purchase off of amazon because zc does have a store on amazon so i was able to get these like next day with my prime membership but this one as you can see is just the gorgeous neutrals with the pop of blue some gold in there but yeah the thing oh and this is the covering <laughs> Let me show you how that looks. This is very pretty. And this is what this palette looks like. So very, you know, neutral shades, pop of blue, pop of gold, just really gorgeous. It's like a kind of like a green, green toned gold in there as well. But yeah, I just, I fell in love with the packaging on these. This one, I really, really fell in love with. Once again, it has the raised design on there absolutely gorgeous and like i said i was able to get these from amazon but this is the design that covers up the shadows in here and these are the shades of course it reminds me of christmas <laughs> with the reds and the greens but yeah like i said i have seen a few people doing um reviews videos on these palettes and they actually really like them so that's good to know if i do ever decide to use them that they're actually decent palettes now continuing on with a few palettes i do have a couple here that i've actually already used this one is the makeup by tammy chasing butterfly palettes i did grab this when she launched it on her website from her brand and this is what this palette looks like if you haven't already seen it it's so so pretty i did do a look with this it is on instagram if you want to check it out it's on my instagram page but yeah i really really like this palette i think it's really pretty it really is i love the colors that she chose it's just like a nice eclectic mix so i like it now this palette i actually got as pr or a gift from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. This is their new You Beauty palette that has been on pre-order and I know a lot of people have ordered theirs and are waiting <laughs> for their gorgeous palette. This is what she looks like. Very, very pretty color story. It's so funny because I haven't used this yet. I feel like I have because I've played with it so much and swatched it and just sat and admired it so much, but I haven't quite used it yet. I'm definitely going to very, very soon, but very, very pretty palette. Oh, and I do have swatches for that on my Instagram as well, if you're curious. Now, this palette from BH Cosmetics, this is the BFF Alondra and Elsie palette. <laughs> I'm not familiar with them or who they are, but I did select this palette for my Shop My Stash. I love this color story. I think it is so, so pretty. And the shades that they put in here, the ones that they chose to be shimmers, the ones that they chose to be mattes, I absolutely love it. Spoiler alert, that's what I have on my eyes today, okay? <laughs> So I did do a video using this. I don't know if it'll be up before this video or not, but if you're curious about my thoughts, definitely check that out. Now this palette here is also a new palette to my collection, the Natasha Denona. <laughs> the Natasha Denona Circle Loco palette. I love this packaging. It's so cute. It really is. It's very unique from you know, all the palettes that I have in my collection. But this is what the Circle Loco looks like. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with it by now. I really like this palette. I had a lot of fun using it. I can't wait to play in it some more just because I love the fact that she did this palette. It is so pretty, so colorful, and the shadows are bomb okay so yeah i have a look using this on my instagram as well um i actually did a video using this if you're curious and you haven't already seen it definitely check it out but yeah i like this palette now i want to run through this stack of palettes right here real quick <laughs> it's like i kind of feel a little bit of guilt for purchasing these palettes because i bought like five of them all at once and it's like girl you did not need any of those palettes 
but do we need any of this stuff no so that's irrelevant okay but yeah i saw these beautiful palettes from xx revolution like some of their luxe pro palettes this one is the decadent y'all let me go quiet my dog okay so like i was saying before my dog was going ham um <laughs> yeah i know he's just out there where i tell him to be quiet he's like i'm just trying to protect you okay so but yeah he was going off but i purchased some of these xx revolution luxe palettes and they're gorgeous okay they're absolutely gorgeous this is beautiful beautiful purple one this one is called decadent luxe I guess he was actually barking at somebody. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> I can't be too mad at him. He was barking at somebody who was at the door. So, it's all good. But yeah, okay, so this first one <laughs> is the purple one called Decadent Lux. Let me show you what it looks like. Look at that. Isn't she pretty? Gorgeous. But y'all know, it's the packaging. It's the whole velour Lux packaging for me this next one here is midnight Lux, which is this beautiful black one beautiful black <laughs> velour packaging okay and this is what this one looks like super duper pretty and i'm hoping that the formula for the xx revolution Lux palettes is even better than their regular formula because it'd be nice if it's a good formula in these palettes as well as the nice packaging <laughs> okay so this one here is called vortex y'all know i love this blue okay gorgeous and these are the colors in here this one is really really pretty to me this red one here is called ciao exodus see that's why i couldn't figure it out because they spelled it different <laughs> exodus gorgeous gorgeous red and this is what exodus looks like that's pretty and this pretty pink one is called passion lux oh she bright huh they just feel so nice <laughs> But this is what Passion Lux looks like. I feel like this one could have had a few more kind of bold, vibrant pinks in there, but it's still pretty. So yeah, <laughs> I do have just a slight feeling of guilt for buying all of these, but I mean, honey, look, they're gorgeous, okay? And they were on sale on Beauty Bay, okay? I don't know if they were half price or what, but they was on sale, okay? So let's kind of chop it up a bit before we do more palettes because I do have some foundations here that I've purchased. One I've tried, the rest I have not. This one is the new Morphe foundation. This one is the Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. And I did select this for my Shop My Stash for this month. Haven't used it yet, but we'll see. I put it on my hand and it definitely will work for me. I definitely can use this. It looks a little light in the bottle, but yeah, it definitely will work for me. I have the shade Filter Rich 26, so got that. So I also picked up the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint. It's called Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I got the shade 20. This is what shade 20 looks like. And spoiler alert, I do have it on my face today. <laughs> so if you watch the video for this eye look and this whole, you know, get ready with me situation, then you'll find out my first impression thoughts on this. But I do have that. I almost forgot when I ordered that Morphe foundation on Ulta, they had this little, you know, cute little deal where you got a free brush, you know, foundation brush from Morphe as well, which I thought was super cool. And I absolutely love this brush. It's the Morphe E63 and it kind of has like that little tapered slanted 
situation going on i love this brush for foundation i like it i like it a lot i'm so glad that they gave this to me because <laughs> i really like it and speaking of brushes <laughs> I always feel really guilty when I buy brushes because I have like 5 million brushes, but clearly there's an ad addiction issue going on here. But I picked up three new brush sets, <laughs> but it's because they have specific brushes within them that I just absolutely love. So this brush set here is from a brand called Jessup. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they are on Amazon. I don't know if they have, you know, their own website or if they have brushes on AliExpress and stuff like that because I know a lot of um, AliExpress brands put their brushes on Amazon as well. But I saw this set on Amazon and I was like, I want all of them. <laughs> all of the brushes so i grabbed this i don't remember how much it was i'll have to put the price on the screen but yeah very nice huge brush set with just all really nice usable brushes eye brushes face brushes as you can see it even has a brush similar to the one that i just showed um from the morphe you know brush that i got with the foundation theirs is not as big but it's the exact same type of you know shape of brush so i love that but yeah these brushes are really really nice so i got these from amazon i also picked up these from amazon and you guys i will be 100 percent honest i bought these because of the color <laughs> color of these brushes which is so gorgeous to me i mean the brushes they actually look decent i haven't used any of them yet i don't think but yeah the actual brushes themselves do look decent but i typically don't really go for white brushes just because they get so dirty and they get so stained and so hard to clean but you know i still use them no big deal but yeah like this foundation brush here i really like these kind of brushes for my foundation as well i just i really really fell in love with the color of these handles so yeah this set got me i'm sure it was very affordable because typically when I buy brush sets from Amazon, they are very affordable. <laughs> I don't like spending a lot of money on brushes. I spent a lot of money on brushes one time when I bought my Sigma brushes. And because of the fact that I rarely use them, there's a few of them that I really love, but it definitely was not worth me spending as much as I did on those brushes because I use my Morphe brushes way more than I use those brushes. So <laughs> that's just me but it all kind of depends just on your preference on how you do your makeup what you feel most comfortable with you know some people love the more expensive brushes that's all they use that's all they want and it works great for them and then other people use aliexpress brushes morphe brushes bh cosmetics <laughs> brushes I tend to kind of play around with all of them and I find that a lot of the lesser expensive brushes work better for me and how I do my makeup. So that's just me. Now this last set here, I definitely bought <laughs> because of how they look as well as, you know, it's a black owned indie brand and the brushes are just gorgeous. So these are from Colored Rain. Let me go ahead and just show you before I drop all these brushes everywhere. Let me show you the eye brushes, which this is what they look like. You see those handles? I love that ombre handle, honey. They are so, so gorgeous. Now this set, um, was it worth 60 bucks? I mean, Honestly, I would say that, yeah, that they are because they're gorgeous for one. You get what? Seven, seven eye brushes and you get the three face brushes, you know, like powder, bronzer, blush or whatever. You know, you can interchange your brushes however you want to use them. I don't feel like there's any hard and heavy rules when it comes to brushes. I'm talking a lot in this video. <laughs> Anyways, these brushes are gorgeous. So as you can see, they all have the beautiful ombre handle. They all have the gorgeous 
colored rain logo on there hopefully you can see that there's a lot going on right now but they have the logo and they have the name of the brush love it so yeah these are absolutely gorgeous to me I definitely can use all of these brushes I don't know if you were able to see them but yeah I would definitely use all of these brushes for sure so I love them very happy with my latest <laughs> Additions to my brushes, y'all. I know. Don't don't even say nothing. I already know. Okay, I didn't need no brushes, but they're gorgeous. Okay, okay. So next, I did pick up some items from Ulta. I wanted to try out these NYX Sweet Cheeks blushes. I guess they are cream. Are they cream blushes? Liquid blushes? But yeah, I got these two shades. Very very pretty. Let me tell you what they are. Um, okay, so this orange looking one is called Almost Famous. Very, very pretty. It looks super duper bright and intimidating, but honestly, I'll do a quick little swatch right now. When I swatched it and blended it out, I was like, oh, okay, so that's not, it's, it's going to be really pretty. So that's what it looks like swatched. So let me just blend it out a bit so you can kind of see what I mean. You know it does buff out very very nicely so if you like like orange and like peachy type blushes and you might really like that this one here which is more of like the kind of mauvey rosy type shade is called showgirl so let me swatch this one the only thing that i don't like is that it does come <laughs> with this like it's kind of like a lip gloss applicator. I don't, I don't know whose idea that was, but whatever, right? So that's what it looks like before it's blended out. And let me go ahead and blend it out for you. And <laughs> I put more, <laughs> way more of that one on my hand, but you get the gist. So that is what that one looks like. Very, very pigmented, but both colors are really, really gorgeous. I really wanted to try this one for sure. And once again, since I bought those from Ulta, they did have kind of like a little giveaway thing from NYX where if you spent a certain amount, I don't remember how much I spent on those, but obviously it wasn't a lot. You got a little, a cute little three sampler pack of these three items here so the first one here is the marshmallow primer so it's marshmallow face primer so i'm excited to try that out they also gave me this cannabis sativa seed oil lip conditioner so they gave me that and then you also got this filler instinct but what is this Oh, it's a plumping lip color in the shade Beach Casual. So very light kind of nude type shade on that. So that's three nice little gifts to get, you know, for free. So happy about that. So of course, what's a haul without some ColourPop, right? <laughs> so of course I made my monthly ColourPop purchase. And the first item that I got here, I just could not let this go. I could not let it go. I kept looking at it. I was like, that's kind of cute. It really is. It's not necessarily my usual stilo, but it's very, very cute. This is the Limoncello palette. It's so cute. Look at there on the mirror. It has a little lemon. So cute. But yeah, this is the palette. So it has, you know, some little earthy tones in here. Pops of yellow, a little green, a little blue. You know, I thought it was cute. And it looks it it really looks really cute in person. It really does. So I'm happy I got that. I'm gonna play around with that. <laughs> I also picked up this off Melrose palette. Now I've been looking at this for months, ever since it first came out, and I was like, mm -mm. I was like, what? No, mm -mm. no. But <laughs> it's like the more I looked at it, I kind of zoned in on like the shimmers, really. And I was like, wait a minute. You know it's a little neutral a little boring a little blase but the shimmers are pretty and i have to admit whenever 
anyone comes out with a palette that's like based around somewhere in Cali, it just, it immediately gets my attention because I'm a Cali girl. So, you know, this off Melrose easily got my attention. I was like, what? Another Cali palette? Okay. So anyways, got that. And then I also picked up this cute little lippy stick. <laughs> Lord knows I do not need another lip product. But as I was looking at the different shades, I was like, you know what? That looks like a really pretty kind of nice transition from, you know, kind of like fall, winter into spring. Because even though it still has kind of like a fall feel to it, if you're a more fair skin tone, I felt like, you know, for me, it still kind of has like that pretty springy type feel to it as well. I don't know, I just thought it was a pretty color. So yeah, I went ahead and grabbed that. So yeah, I kind of chilled when it came to my ColourPop purchases. I didn't buy a whole lot this month. So this one is called Who Run This? <laughs> Who Run This? And it's just a matte lippy stick, very pretty. Okay, so this next palette, <laughs> I could not resist. It's from Too Faced, I know, but I have been looking at this palette on Ulta, on Too Faced, I was just like, what is it about that palette? But this is their That's My Jam palette. I thought it was so, so cute. I was like, I'm not paying. I'm waiting for it to go on sale. I'm not paying for that palette. <laughs> but I just, I could not shake this palette. I just, and I love this color story. When I got it, as soon as I opened the box, I was like, I am so glad I bought it. The shimmers look so gorgeous. It's just such a cute, pretty, simple palette. It doesn't look like much, but in person, I know that I can create a really gorgeous eye look with this palette. So yeah, I'm so glad I grabbed it. It's just, it's really cute. <laughs> Now this next palette here I got because I love to eat, okay? <laughs> this is the e.l.f. and Chipotle collab palette. When I first saw it, I was like, really? Why is e.l.f. collabing with Chipotle? But after I saw the palette, I was like, okay, I can get with that. I haven't taken the plastic off, as you can see. But yeah, I was like, mm, I can get with that. That's kind of cute. Let me see if I can take this off right quick. Okay, so I got it off. I don't know why they even bothered to put the names on this little plastic sheet. Like, who, who's keeping this? <laughs> who's keeping this? It has the names. It has the ingredients. All of that on, on this. Like, that wasn't too bright. Okay. But this is what the palette looks like. And I think it's so cute. It really does remind me of my little Chipotle bowls that I order and I'll be tearing up, okay? I love me some Chipotle, for real. So, yeah, I think it definitely fits the whole vibe, the whole theme. They did a good job with it. Don't know about the quality, obviously, because I haven't used it, but, I mean, it's Elf, you know? <laughs> like, I'm not expecting that much, but it's Elf, okay? So, I did get that. And I also picked up the little lip gloss. What is this called? This is the Make It Hot Lip Plumping Gloss. <laughs> and y'all, this stuff, it, it is a, a cute little plumping gloss. I've used it and it tastes like, what is it, cinnamon? No. What is, you know those like, you remember those hot candies when you were a kid? Those, tight, those little round ones? The little, I can't think of the name of them. But that's what it tastes like. Those little hot cinnamon candies. That's what it tastes like. Okay, so this next brand I was really curious about. I've seen a lot of people, of course, using this stuff or these products on the tube because, you know, they sent out a lot of PR. But this is the first Black-owned clean beauty brand at Sephora, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So it's called LYS, Love Yourself Beauty, which is the bomb name. Okay, I like that a lot. And I really like their packaging, all of their stuff. It's kind of unique, you know, comes in this type of packaging, which is really, really cute. And so I did grab a few items from this brand to try out. So let me open all of these boxes up and just show you what I got. I did pick up the foundation or one of the foundations. This is in the shade DG7. 
So it has that frosted glass. So, you know, who knows? But <clears throat> since I did watch a few videos, I'm hoping that, you know, I was able to pick a shade that I can work with. Oh, yeah, I could definitely work with that for sure. It looks, you know, like more on the neutral side for me. But yeah, I could definitely work with that for sure. Yeah. Most people will say like, oh, your hand is not a good place to check. But my hand for me is actually a perfect place for me to check because, you know, I like to kind of match this area here and I don't have too much difference in the shade of my chest, my neck, my hand. Now my face, mm -mm, I have a whole lot of discoloration going on on my face, but for my chest and my neck and stuff, my hand is a pretty good indicator of whether or not I can use a foundation. So yeah, it's looking pretty good, okay? So yeah, I got, what did I say, DG7? Now let me just rub this in. Oh, that's a nice finish, okay. It feels kind of like a, um, I don't know, kind of like a slightly dewy type finish. I feel like I definitely won't need a whole lot of this. As you can see, it looks like the coverage is pretty good. And I could definitely see like that neutral type uh, undertone in there. But yeah, that'll work for me, honey. Okay, so I also picked up this Triple Fix translucent setting powder and I don't it's kind of throwing me because it says translucent but I know they had different shades and stuff the packaging is really nice see how pretty that is but uh what shade did I get loyalty so this is dark deep I don't know if this is gonna work for me this look a little dark <laughs> this is definitely looks a little dark so this might end up being a bronzer on me because yeah she look a little dark but this is the shade loyalty i don't know though sometimes when you put powders on they look a little different so we'll see what happens i also picked up this no limits matte bronzer now i did take a peek at this and i was like oh child <laughs> that is dark okay same really pretty packaging which is probably going to get annoying because I'll be like, which is the bronzer, which is the powder. Now, she looks very, very Cocolicious, like very Chocolicious. So, I don't know. This might have to be a contour and the other one might have to be a bronzer, depending on how they look on my face. But like I said, you never know. I've seen where something looks super dark in the pan and then I put it on and it just worked out nicely. So, yeah, I will have to just see how that goes. This one... It's called No Limits. So I got the bronzer, the powder, the foundation. And then lastly, I did grab Speak Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oil. Oh, this is really, really cute. So this is what the lip oil looks like. Packaging is super cute. And it has like that triangular shape for the top. Love that. And that's what it looks like so it's just a squeezy tube you know no biggie i'm not gonna try it out right now because i have on a matte lip going for the matte look today <laughs> but yeah so those are the items i got from lys now i've been wanting to try something from danessa myricks but you know <laughs> she ain't cheap okay <laughs> So I decided to start off slow. Now, this is the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Mattes. It's one of her, you know, like whole little color tubes that you can use on your cheeks, your lips, your eyes, wherever you want, right? So this one is in the shade Desert Rose. Very, very pretty. So let me just show you what this looks like. And I did order this from Sephora, not from her website. I just wanted to try one of them out and see how I like it. And from what I understand, you don't have to use a lot of this at all. Let's see. So I'm just gonna put a tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny drop on my hand. I don't know if you can see that, very tiny drop. And, oh, that's nice. Yeah, it smells like makeup. So, ooh, that is a really pretty color. I could definitely say that on my cheeks or on my lips. That's gorgeous. 
Okay, so yeah, if you like this color, you guys, that one is Desert Rose. Very pretty. I'm happy I bought that. <laughs> Okay, so we're coming on the home stretch. I do have a few new single shadows that I purchased. These are from JD Glow. So they came out with like four new like springtime Easter type shades. And it's these four shades down here at the bottom. Very, very pretty. If you could see those, very pretty. So let me tell you what these are. So this blue one here is called Sky. That's pretty. Now this next one is called Voila. Voila. So it's kind of like, kind of like a pinky lavender. This next one here is kind of like a minty green. And it is called Jade. And this last one here is called Meringue. So it's the light Easter yellow shade. So those are the four new shades that I picked up from JD Glow. Now I wanted to try out some really, really pretty, like shiny, shifting, you know, color shifting loose pigments from this brand called Kaima Cosmetics. I saw them on Instagram, of course, and I just have them in this little tray to make it easier, <laughs> but, I grabbed some of their loose pigments and oh my gosh, I just played around with a couple of them, barely swatching them. They're so, so gorgeous. They sent me this for free. I'm assuming that it's kind of like a mixing medium or something to place the um, loose pigments on, but they're so gorgeous. Let me just tap a couple of them on my hand so you can see what I mean. I'm just going to use a little bit of my NYX glitter glue or glitter primer, I should say, on my hand. I'm just putting a little bit of that on my hand so I can tap some of these loose pigments on here so you guys can see what they look like. Okay, so one of the ones that I want to show you guys is Rapture. So it's this gorgeous like green and gold and orange kind of shifty shade. And I'm just tapping it on top of some of that glitter primer just so you can see what she looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like just tapped on top of that glitter primer. You can see that green to gold shift. Look at that, gorgeous. And that's just me taking a little bit off of here and tapping it on my hand. And then I will do one more and this one is called Supremacy. So it's like a blue and a purple and they're like little flakes. Well, some of them, these two that I'm putting on are like flaky. So that's why you definitely need something to, you know, tap it on top of, but <laughs> Do you see that blue? Like, where is the purple? Like, if you, let me see if you guys can see this. If you're looking at this, do you see that? That turquoise and purple in there? Lord, don't let me spell it. Gorgeous, right? And it's like, when I look at it, I could see the purple shift in there. But it's like, gosh, how can I get you guys to see the purple? Oh, like, man, it's driving me crazy because you guys can't see. It's like super purple. Okay, so, oh, there you go. Okay, so can you guys see that purple in there? The purple and the turquoise? Can you imagine that on your eyes? Eh. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Look at that. It looks like a mermaid. Oh, that's pretty. Gorgeous. So anyways, that is just, you know, like a few taps of those loose pigments or loose flakes on top of a glitter primer. And I wanted you guys to just see how they look because you might be a little bit like intimidated or don't really want to use those. But if you just put down a little, you know, adhesive, a little glitter primer, glitter glue and tap it. Oh my God, honey, your lid will be looking so pretty. Okay. And speaking of more gorgeous shimmers, I did add to my singles collection, you guys. <laughs> I know if you have seen my singles collection video, you know that I don't need any more singles. But 
when I saw these, you know, going around on YouTube and Instagram from Glam Shop and from Burnovich, I just had to try them. And surprisingly, with them coming from different countries and stuff, it didn't take me that long to get them, so I'm very happy about that. But I do have these beautiful shadows up here from Glam Shop. And then these three rows down here are from Burnovich. And trust, I will definitely be doing uh, swatch videos for both of those brands very, very soon. But this is what they look like. I did try out a couple of glitters from each brand, I think. These two for sure are glitters, and then these two down here are glitters, but their glitters, you guys, are so stinking smooth that it's just like, <laughs> they feel like shadows. They don't feel like glitter. Do you see that? Okay, does that look like glitter to you? No, that looks like shimmers. So yeah, I just definitely I had to try them out. And I also ordered a loose pigment from Burnovich. I like to just kind of try different things sometimes. So I'm sure that's why I ordered this one loose pigment. What color is this? I'll have to look after I close it. But that's what that looks like. Okay, so I only have two more things, you guys. I actually got these two palettes sent to me in PR from Nomad Cosmetics. They did have a sale in March where you could get these for 30% off. I don't know if they're carrying the sale over or not, or if it's over because it is April now. But yeah, they did send me these two palettes and they actually... <laughs> are really special to me like I said earlier anything that has to do with Cali I'm a sucker for it definitely weak for it these palettes are not necessarily what you know would typically be my vibe my stilo because they're very neutral very basic but they did throw that pop of blue in there <laughs> which helps it out for me you know so this is what this one looks like and this one is called the Encinitas Surf Shack Palette. Very, very cute. Look at that packaging. And then this one here is the Malibu Palette. Love that. And this one here has more of the green theme to it. So it has the neutral shades, but then it has, you know, that green, pop of green feel in there. So I did get these in PR. So happy to add them to my collection. And lastly, I decided to go ahead and grab these Jello Shot. I guess they're like cream shadows. Or you can do whatever you want with them, I guess. They could be cream liners, cream shadows, whatever the case may be. But I got these from Amore Us, a brand that is all over Instagram. But I think more people are becoming familiar with this brand. They're very, very affordable. But these are three of the colors that I got in the Jello shots. And it came, I bought the whole little six pack. You can buy them individually, but I did go ahead and grab the six pack. I believe it was 15 bucks, but these are the other three shades. So yeah, I'm really kind of like anxious to see what I could do with these. I'm wondering if they're kind of like the, what was it, the Jelly Shadows from ColourPop? If so, then I don't anticipate them lasting that long because my, um, the Jelly Shadows from, yeah, and they might be, but at least they have a little seal on there. But those Jelly Shadows that I had from ColourPop, they dried out like super quick and I was not happy about that at all. So yeah, this one is Garnet Red. That is really, really pretty. Really pretty. So, yeah. I'm going to try these out. Most likely, I'll use them for like a base or with a really small brush as a pretty liner, you know, and see how that goes, okay? So, yeah, that is it, you guys. That's the last thing that I have for this haul. <laughs> Hopefully, you enjoyed hanging out with me to kind of look at some of this stuff and just chit-chat about it. 
Let me know, like I said, if you guys have any of this stuff and what your thoughts are or if you're thinking about grabbing something. But other than that, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!